Diamond and these Kindle channel, don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our virtual happy hour here at MD's Gym Mill Channel. What's going on? Happy Monday. What are you guys drinking? What is going on? Where are you from? Throw it up in the comments and say hi so I know who's watching and where you guys are from and what you drinking. Anyway, so I wanted to say I don't usually dress like this, but I'm so excited. I was invited to go on a virgin cruise this week. So I'm packing and getting all ready, and I've got my bathing suit on, ready to go. Super excited. Never been on a Virgin cruise before, and I hear nothing but great things. And I'm going to be doing tons of live, just pop-ins all over the cruise when I'm on it. So you guys make sure you follow along. It's going to be epic. I'm so excited. But anyways, so, okay, it is, tis the season. Everything's starting, and my phone is ringing, and my text messages are coming in. Everybody's like, save me bottles. I'm making coquito. Save me bottles, because, you know, I own a couple bars, so we've got lots of bottles that get thrown away or recycled. So I've been saving bottles for all my friends making coquito, and I thought now would be a perfect time to transfer back to about a year ago when... I had one of the master coquito makers on the show making us some coquito. And then afterwards, we're going to sample. I found a ready-made Bacardi coquito that I wanted to share with you guys. And I also found screwball eggnog. Now, this is hard to find. I mean, literally, I had to run everywhere to find this stuff. So we're going to sample this right after we take a sneak peek back at our master coquito maker. Check it out. Anyways, we're making coquito today, and I'm not sure if you heard earlier, but all these ingredients, we're gonna make two different ones. I've got a master coquito maker that will be here in just a minute, and I'm gonna try my first time at making coquito. So, without further ado, let's bring in Miss Lila Negron. Come on in, Lila. Hi again. <laughs> like I said, if you guys can hear us and see us okay, just give us the thumbs up so we know. Tell me where you're from, where you're watching, and what you're drinking. This is Miss Lila. Hi, everyone. Tell me how you started. Do you have a little teeny story? How did you learn this from your mom, your grandmother? Well, my grandmother, but she used to do it from scratch. She would literally, like, shave the coconut, put it in a towel, squeeze out the milk. Like, she, like... Did every, and it's also made with eggs. But you are allergic and to eggs. Because I'm allergic to eggs. And as the years have gone, people have developed a different way of making it without eggs. And again, I'm not sure if you guys, Emily. Hey, Emily. Hi, Emily. <laughs> now remember, the coquito means small coconut. So we're going to make some. Let's try this out. So walk me through this. I've got all my ingredients. Yes. And I'm going to make it right in the blender? Right in the blender. Okay. So, so you can just pour everything in. Start with whatever. Or your canned stuff first. Okay. Condensed so, milk. Well, you got condensed. I got evaporated. Okay. It doesn't matter. So, oh, <laughs> this is thick. Yeah. Woo! I bought a spoon. I bought a spoon. Oh, so I got one too. Scrape it out. All right. Ah. This is gross looking. Ooh. It's yummy though. Ugh. Have you ever tasted condensed milk? Yes. Ooh. It's yummy. Okay. And then this is coconut milk. I got my coconut milk right here. Okay. You guys, I'm telling you, if I can learn how to make this, I am the queen <laughs> because I don't have to bother her anymore. It's still not going to taste the same. Sorry. Well, we know that there's a secret ingredient, which I think she just kisses her man after it's done. I think that's what it is. Then okay. we have um, cream of coconut, which that's the one you didn't have. I couldn't find it. That's okay. So this, because it's a cream of coconut, it can get gloppy. Yes. 
<laughs> of natural oils from, from the coconut. Hey, Dan Sherman, how are you? Make sure you get everything in there. And then on, Dan? I'm missing my sweet and condensed. Okay. I just did it. Let's get that in there. You want to get it all in there. Pull it, pull it. Nice and yummy. I'm going to take a little drink. All right. Now you take. If anybody's going to ask me how much of that, I can't tell you. If it's a tablespoon, a teaspoon, a half a cup, I have no idea because I've been doing it for so long, I just do it by looking. Okay. So, <laughs> a lot, a little. I put enough just to make it okay. really tasty and yummy. I haven't opened this container in five years. I hope it's still good. And you got vanilla. Just a little bit, not too, too much, because everything you're putting in here is sweet already. I haven't opened this. Look how old it is. <laughs> They're going to get poisoned tonight. <laughs> Make sure you try my cookie, too. So I'm going to be on special at both. I'll give you the gym Span now. Spanish word of the day, chunkas, the gym. <laughs> and how much vanilla? Just a little bit, like, yeah, that's good. Okay. And then you have your nutmeg, right? Because I know you have nutmeg. I bought it. I got a pop. So nutmeg, when you... Careful with the nutmeg. You got to be very careful. It's really, really strong, and it can, yeah, it can overpower everything else. So usually, I just put very, maybe about that much. Oh, little sprinkle. I think that's probably enough. There goes the poisoning. Okay, and, and later yeah. on, I'll taste it and see. So right now, you see the star anise and you see the cinnamon sticks. Those are for later. Check this out. I got this cool little shop here in Port St. Lucie called r and Produce. They had everything all individualized for you. It's only $2. These little stars. Oh, that was cheaper than this one. That's for sure. I know. Okay, that's all we put in there? Yeah, for now. Okay, so you want to make sure you close this and mix it all up. Okay. So now we, we are going to apologize to everybody right now because my ninja sounds like an F-15. I don't know how your ninja sounds. <laughs> no, uh, but mine sounds like Friggin' airplane taking off. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go, okay? Right. Turn mine on. Ready? And I'm gonna go. Right. All right, here's a little secret that my grandmother taught me. So, here's the thing. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see me. You can see me. Um, usually she would blend for a little while and smell. I gotta smell. Okay. So you see how it smells? And Ugh. <laughs> exactly. So Ugh. that means you have to blend it more. Blend it more. Ugh. Eventually that stinky smell will disappear and it'll just be fragrant coconut and cinnamon uh, and all okay. the other good stuff. I'm blended. So we're gonna all right, so that's hysterical. All right, so we blended it more and it came out delicious. So now I thought it's only proper to give Bacardi a shot. So let's try out the Bacardi ready-made Coquito. All right, now, as my girlfriend Lila explained to me that regular Coquito has egg in it. Now she's allergic, so we didn't make that with egg. Now this does have egg in it, so Unfortunately, she can't try this, but I can. So we're gonna try it out and see if it's as good as our handmade one from last year. It's creamy, delicious looking, okay? All right. Mm. Oh my God. I was gonna say it smells so good, but I was too busy tasting it at the same time. This is absolutely delicious. Now it does taste a little bit different than what we made homemade without the egg, but either way, they're both delicious. If you don't have the time to go buy the condensed milk and all the stuff that goes into it, and you don't want to have that smell like that I smelled, you can just easily go get a little bottle of the Bacardi Coquito and it's delicious. Let me tell you, mm. definitely want to make sure it's cold. Keep it in your fridge. Keep it cold, delicious, okay? Now, I wanted to talk about Bacardi for a second before we taste our second thing. Now, 
McCarty, you know, they're hopping on the environmental bandwagon. And do you remember, I'm going to show you a picture. When you see these Bacardi bottles, they've got the little plastic thing on the top, you know? That is a non-refillable fitment, or otherwise known as a NRF. And what that is for, it regulates all the liquid coming out of the bottle. I don't know who needs to be regulated, but uh, apparently you do. Also, it helps that you can't refill the bottles, because you know that's illegal. You don't want to be refilling bottles. And... It's interesting because so many different companies are hopping on. Have you noticed in the stores that Sprite went from a green bottle to a white bottle? Apparently that it recycles better. That's interesting. I didn't know that. And Coors Light, you know, Coors Light beer, they opted out of their, you know, six pack rings, you know, the, the, the thing that went around the six packs. And I'll show you a picture right here. They have now a cardboard carrier. So all recyclable. There's everybody's getting away from the plastic, including Johnny Walker Black, which we talked about a while ago. That's the first paper bottle. And I mean, Johnny Walker Black is significantly costly. So I mean, you're paying top dollar for that scotch. And it comes in a paper bottle. But cheers to those guys for caring. You know, it, it, it really is cool. And while we're talking about things, Heinz ketchup, first paper ketchup bottle ever. I don't know if that's going to like eventually melt in your hand. You're going to have a ketchup mess. I don't know, but hey, good for them. So that's awesome. I'll tell you what, Wendy's, you know, our, our burger place, Wendy's there, they have now a peppermint frosty. That's right. Coming out any day now, you can get a peppermint frosty. And I'm thinking that you mix something with this peppermint frosty and make a really cool alcoholic adult beverage. What do you think? Okay, let's get into um, our friends over at Screwball. They now have an eggnog. Now, you guys, this is super hard to find. So you can find this at Total Wine. Um, any, it's, it's, it's tough to find. It's about $25 a bottle and this is only a seven fifty. So I thought we'd try this out. I've really not ever been an eggnog drinker. The Coquito I really like, but eggnog and I'm really not a peanut butter fan, but Hey, I know that as a bartender screwball sells like hell. And I was just talking to my friend, Mike, he's a promotion guy over with screwball. He travels all around the country. And I hope to have him on the show very, very soon to tell us more about this. But I talked to him and he said that each place is only getting like one or two bottles of this. So I got it today. Again, about $23 for a $7.50. Oh my. Peanut butter for sure. Like I said, I've never had eggnog, but this is good. I don't know which one's better. I really don't. It's up to you guys. So check these all out. You're going to want to have them. It's just about, you've got a, about a week and two days till Thanksgiving. And then pretty much it's Christmas. Then it's New Year's. It, that's it. So you better get on the seasonal cocktail train now. And, you know, we're all going to be traveling and stuff. You guys start rolling your change. I'm telling you, get this one. So, if you're traveling through airports and you need a beer and I'll tell you, let me know what's your favorite. Do you have like an airport beer? I know I do. Like when I'm traveling, I don't ever drink Sam Adams, but when I go on an airplane, the first thing I get at the airport is that big tall boy, Sam Adams, Boston. I don't know why, but it's just a thing. It's got such an amazing taste. It always reminds me of flying on an airplane and I love it. I feel like it knocks me out so I can sleep, but What's your favorite airport beer? Let me know. Anyways, the most expensive regular pint of domestic, a macro brew, if you will, which is like your Bud Miller Coors, is at LaGuardia Airport in New York. It's $12.33. Can you believe that? Insane. Insane. Second followed by Detroit at $9.36. But on average, across 50 states that they checked into their airports, 
$7.42 is your average macro pint, macro brew pint. So start rolling your change. And if you're like me with these bars, bring it to your local bar and ask if they want to buy change because we can't get change at half the banks anymore. So think about it. You know, I need a little sip of this coquito. Mm. Yummy, yummy McYumster. So, okay, we want to thank uh, Lila, our master coquito maker, who joined us last year making the coquito. And I'm not shoving you off, Lila, but this Bacardi coquito is outstanding. And the screwball is good, too. Ah, Kevin, you are right. Paper straws right here. These are fade, P-H-A-D-E, fade straws. And they're made from, I believe, soy. Am I correct, you guys? Soy? Bamboo. Why do I keep saying soy? Made from bamboo. Northeast Florida is where these are produced, and they're good for the environment. They come in straws and stir sticks, fade.com, P-H-A-D-E.com. And before we go today, I wanted to thank Tito's. We haven't said it in a while, our unofficial sponsor, MD's Gin Mill Channel. Because, as you guys know, I am an official Tito's taster, yay, and it doesn't get me much other than knowing that I love Tito's, but it is their 25th anniversary, and they were so kind to send me, get this, it's so cool, little box. It's a bottle top. Look at how cute this is, okay? It says Tito's 25 on it, and I thought we would just pop it on this bottle together, because I'm so proud of this. Again, congratulations to Tito's for 25 years of amazing vodka. And this is my bottle top right here. Again, thank you, Tito's, so much. I love being an official Tito's taster. Hi to my girlfriend, Sarah Rebus in New York, and all the other Tito's people out there. But that's about it today, you guys. So grab yourself some holiday drinks. Next week is our Thanksgiving edition, where we are going to make a Thanksgiving margarita. Oh, yeah. They've got one, and it's really good. So stay tuned all week. Like I said, I'm going to be on the Virgin Cruise Line going to the Caribbean, and I cannot wait to show you around the boat and tell you all about it. So, guys, start rolling your change. Bring it to your local watering hole. Maybe, you know, save your money. If you're traveling, you're going to need 12 bucks for a beer if you're going to New York. Anyways, thanks, everybody, and have a wonderful week. Cheers.